When will the American people receive $1,400 stimulus checks for those on a low income and a fixed income? Hey, what is up YouTube? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Welcome back to another show. If you ever wanted to be part of a family, then why not hit that subscribe button to join the True Life Investing family where we tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. And to help get us out there, if you would, if you wouldn't mind, smash that like button. We would really appreciate it. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you're having a very great day today. Again, welcome back to another show where we talk about stimulus, Joe Biden, things that are going on, and even some things that sound crazy. For example, paying $10 a gallon for gas. That is crazy. But let us know, guys, in the comments down below what you would like to hear about, and we will make sure to bring you that news. So we all know that Joe Biden fell, but don't worry. He is okay. Whew, that was a close one. We almost lost our president due to falling over, face planting on the asphalt as he was riding his bike. But don't worry. He is okay. Down with that one. So guys, there is so much talk about a recession that is going on, but of course the blame game and it's not really his responsibility. And of course we're doing good. In fact, we're making history with the lowest unemployment that we've ever had. Sure, gas is $10. Sure, you gotta pay $7 for a gallon of milk, but we're not looking at that. We're just looking at job unemployment and you know, if you put two to two together, but I can tell you one reason why job unemployment is so low is because people can't afford things and everybody's having to get a job just to survive. You've literally got families combining together their incomes so that way they can afford a place to live. And they're literally moving in together just so that they have a roof over their head. And guys, that's not the American dream. That's not how it should be. But if you are worried about a recession in the United States and feel like that's the way that we're heading, let us know down in the comments below. But I would say that you're not the only one. Check out this article. Joe Biden says that the US economy can deal with inflation uh, I don't agree with that. And yet more Americans are Googling recession than at any time since 2004. So let us know down in the comments below if you feel like a recession is where we're heading. This right here proves the fact that so many people literally are Googling recession just to kind of see where America is going. Why? Because they know it's time to take action. It's time to plan ahead because we don't want to wait till things get worse. 2008, people lost everything. People lost businesses, homes, cars, you name it, they lost it. And people don't want to go through that again. I remember I was around 15, 16 years old when that happened, and it wasn't a fun time. Not because of things that I was losing, but I seen a lot of people lose a lot of things. In fact, for my family, it was a very tough time. I mean, we knew that money was short. We knew that budget was a very strict thing, and we couldn't go past that budget just simply because we were in a recession. And here's what don't make sense, and you guys can let me know your thoughts. We are in one of the richest countries in the entire world. How do we keep ending up? in a recession is it because of leadership is it because who's president you know people can say and i and i told somebody on you on the comments that i would work on this okay they said you sound so biased we can tell who you for listen here's my thing and i want to work on this because i am neutral on this channel i promise but the thing is Trump was a businessman. He provided money for his own campaigns. He didn't have to do what everybody wanted him to do. He literally just spoke his mind because typically with a millionaire, billionaire type of person, they do what they want when they want because they don't have to worry about trying to please someone else. But one thing about Trump that I will say that was good is he is a businessman and he knows how to make sure the money's right. And one thing he was making sure was that America would not be taken advantage of by any other country. In fact, we needed be independent because we are a great country and we've got great people and we can do great things and our finances was looking good and in fact everything was looking good and now things just took a turn for the worse but off that boat we don't want to beat a dead horse 
We know how things are going, but let us know down in the comments how you feel about a recession. Moving on to some very exciting news. So I've got some more information on the stimulus check update, the fourth stimulus check update that states are sending out, not the federal government, but these are states. And I, you know, of course, we know about states that are sending them out. We know I've read you guys the states. I've showed you a picture. If you haven't seen it, Boom, here it is again. Here are the states that are sending out and here are states that are approved and here are states that are still pending. Pennsylvania is still pending. And listen, there are states on here that I'm about to show you guys that literally just updated their information. And I was so excited because I know one state many of you guys have been asking for and it's Kentucky. I have a ton of comments from you guys saying, what about Kentucky? Well guys, guess what? They're actually getting things moving. Check this out, boom. These states have plan in the works. According to Forbes, the following states are considering proposals that if passed would provide targeted stimulus in one form or another. We know about California. We know about Kansas, but look, Kentucky, guys, Kentucky is finally on the list. They're getting things moving. Once they have more information, we will definitely get this out to you guys. North Carolina is another state. Many of you guys have been asking for. What about North Carolina? Again, like this says, they are considering proposals, okay? Pennsylvania, we already knew about, and Virginia, we knew about, guys. They are trying to get things passed. Another of the states have approved them. These states are still pending, trying to get things passed. But here's some hope for you guys. Every state has been given a ton of money, and they don't want to lose it, so they're going to try to get things moving to give it out to their residents, because if they don't get it spent by 2024, then it's going back to the government. So that is a sign of relief, just to know that it may not happen now but don't worry guys things are soon coming so before i leave i wanted to leave you with one more thing guys check this article out will we ever receive a stimulus check again this is what many people are really debating about and here's why see you've got to really understand and break it down do your research do your homework to understand why they just haven't sent out checks here's why so I have went ahead and I blew it up so that way you can see it and I've got it highlighted here. But a fresh round of stimulus payments would only make inflation worse by injecting more money into the economy. So it sounds like the American people are between a rock and a hard place because the government's saying if we give you guys more money in the form of stimulus check, then that's only going to make inflation worse. And the federal government, they're literally, <laughs> the feds, they're trying to raise interest rates, well they are, and they're gonna raise it so high that it's literally gonna throw us into a recession. That is what I've heard from eight out of 10 people that we when that happens, get ready because we're going into a recession. Guys, I'm telling you the truth and nothing but the truth. We're telling it like it is here on this channel. Why? Because you don't need something that's not true. You don't need fiction. Guys, you need the truth that will help you and we want to do our job to make sure that you stay updated. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that that information helped. Don't forget to jump in on a $250 giveaway that we're doing on this channel. So make sure to jump in on that. All the information is down in the description below. And while you're at it, guys, you can also jump in to win a $50 Visa gift card. And all you have to do is smash that like button and comment the word Visa gift card. You know, we've been doing that for a while. Maybe we need to up it up to 100 bucks. Let us know what you think about it in the comments down below. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you continue to have a very great day today. Stay tuned for more videos to come. And until next time, I'm John Miro. Peace.